They put their lives on the line for us every day. Many times, law enforcement members are unsung heroes, but not Captain Joe Alton of the Havita Grace Police Department. He's being celebrated. Captain Joe Alton on being nominated for this month's Do Good Heroes Award. Do Good Heroes is a program where National Life Group, an insurance agency, recognizes fire, rescue, EMS, and police departments and personnel for their community service activities that go above and beyond their public safety duty. As Joe said, <laughs> Joe's simply going to say thank you. Will, Will and I have known each other. Look, I'm going to start. <laughs> Captain Alton gets choked up trying to say a few words about how he appreciates the recognition, but those who know him say it is well-deserved. Joe is a phenomenal person. He truly, truly is. He is somebody that loves his community, is always working in his community, trying to make it best. Captain Alton has been involved with the law enforcement torch run for Special Olympics for over 15 years. Captain Alton has raised over $250,000 for SOMO through fundraising events and the annual t-shirt campaign. One piece of his nomination reads, what began as a simple act of kindness became a burning desire for him to grow the Special Olympic movement. This past year I was able to nominate Stacy Hall, who uh, got selected, and she went to Berlin, Germany. She got again because it's a worldwide thing. And that Special Olympics athlete, Stacy Hall, says she is so grateful for Captain Alton. Him and his wife, Christine, was willing to get me in the gym locally and have it a grace to help my endurance level. Captain Alton says it's been a team effort, and a big part of that team is his family. He says it's important to get involved in your community and to give back. Finding your niche, period. Mine happens to be Special Olympics. Okay, great, you know, or whatever. But that doesn't mean that there isn't something for everybody, period, whatsoever, to go out and get involved in something. Reporting in Harford County, Lacey Griffith, WBAL, TV 11 News.